Good evening everybody, Flack is back, we are at the new train yard monument, you can see it's mostly the same, but there is a new part and it's this component over here, it's currently called Cobalt Logistics, but Face Punch, I remember you made a tweet on Twitter, yeah, where you asked people to suggest new names and then you said you'd name it after a poll, and then I suggested the name Nano and like 500 people liked it, what's up? So to access the new building, all you need is a green card, inside you'll find a red tanker, a yellow skip, like the ones they use for building rubble, a convenient light switch so that you can see in the dark, and at the top of the ladder, a strange looking machine. We pop in a fuse, these three buttons control the giant nozzle on the side of the building, but what do you use the giant nozzle for? Face Punch have added five new carts to the world of rust, they are in no particular order, the fuel cart, a sulfur cart, a metal ore cart, a coal cart, as well as a loot box cart. The loot box cart is pretty cool, you can actually preview what's inside before you unload it at the train yard, and you can only loot these boxes once you get it empty, very cool. To get the resources inside these loot and ore and fuel carts, you have to take them down to the train yard. You couple them up like a standard train cart, and you move the desired loot cart under the nozzle. There are three indicators that tell you when the cart is in the correct position, First you hear a beep, second you get that U symbol on the dashboard, you can see if I go too far it beeps again and that U symbol disappears. When I get out the card you can see there's a traffic light thing there and it needs to have a green light on the top. You see from the side angle here it is a bit skew but let me pull a bit forward. Easy does it, there's the beep, there's the U symbol and then when I jump out of the train cart you can see the traffic light is green. That means we're good to unload. But before we unload the cargo, it's important to check at the back for stowaways. It's high tide at the moment and I don't want any border jumpers trying their luck. Can't keep those goddamn Americans out of our beloved Mexico. <laughs> Climb the ladder to get to the machine, pop in a fresh fuse because they decay, and push the bottom button to offload. The pipe moves into place and starts moving away the mysterious debris. That thing sucks harder than my ex. Only once all the debris removed then you can loot the boxes. There's also two buttons that's designed to shunt the empty cart to the next full cart, however it's not currently working, it sort of just heats the train completely down the rails, however this is still early stages, I'm sure it'll be fixed by main. To offload the carts containing the metal, sulfur or charcoal, you simply move the cart into place, push the unload button, it sucks it clean, giggity, and it spits it out into the skip looking device over here. That is not a bad haul considering that this is just one green card, one fuse and about five low grade. Next is the low grade fuel tanker, I like the fact that the lids snap open in place and they close when it's not in place, that was a very cool touch. And if I interact with the top of the open tanker it makes a liquidy sound, be right back. You unload that and it ends up in the red tanker, that too is a heck of a haul, I really see this monument as being a frequented area cause it's just so easy to get those carts, they're literally scattered all over the map. Finally we have the new locomotive design, it's not the same as the old design, it actually has more features, it has double the hit points, it can tow double the amount of carts as the original, and it is actually slightly faster. You put your low grade fuel in over here, I wanted to do an exact test so I put them side by side and decided to have a street race. Now the starting views look slightly different but I can assure you they are exactly on the same location. What I did do though to make it more fair was time them accurately and as soon as they hit a split in the rail, I would log their time for that split. Every time it reached a new split I would log that time and as you can see as it progresses, the new red cart on the right is actually getting slightly quicker times than the old cart on the left. Science bitch. To my beautiful patrons, thank you guys for hanging in there, I haven't uploaded in like a month, but I've been busy doing something strange to my bathroom and playing that adorable cat game Stray. If you guys want to see some of my commentary on Stray, he has a stylish fluffy orange coat, a fierce look in his eyes and like all domesticated cats on earth, he wants to destroy all humans. Let's call him Adolf Fitpur. Leave a comment below and I will be sure to upload a stray video to the main channel. Thank you for watching my update video. If you did enjoy it, please hit the like button. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your time. Until next time, flack out.